Good morning. Feeling a little scruffy this morning. But uh, another progressive devotional for uh, my fellow Christians out there involved in Black Lives Matter and uh, other struggles to see our faith lived out in ways that honor God and honor neighbor. Please, fellow progressives, let's be careful re-enjoying hating. Calling another human being a piece of shit or worthless is to bow the knee to hate. No human being is worthless. I can only speak in that without authority to fellow Christian progressives, but our beliefs say that sin exists within every person. None of us is pristine, perfect, moral over against another person's immorality. Take racism as an example. One of the most dangerous misbeliefs for white progressives is that by becoming aligned with Black Lives Matter or other anti-white supremacy movements, we are rendered no longer racist ourselves. We're no longer bound by that inner whiteness. This is simply untrue. We will be, God willing, learning always how to give that whiteness within less and less ground. But this only happens as we do the inner work. We're also doing the outer work fighting for justice for our neighbors. Hate is a simpering, crawling, seductive drug. It presumes to give us moral superiority over our real or alleged enemies. It lets us off the hook of doing our own inner work or confronting the reality that we are more like our enemy than will likely ever be comfortable. We can move with the truth live in the truth, but we cannot own the truth. We cannot always be sure we are even with the truth. Love is our call. Loving God, adoring Him, emulating Him, conversing with Him, asking all things from Him, obeying Him, and loving our neighbor doing to or for her only what we would wish done to or for us. If I was in terrible error, I would want my neighbor to tell me so. This is one reason to confront those currently under the sway of white nationalism in the guise of faith. But we cannot hate them in our words or our actions. We must not. This defiles the faith we say we hold. Love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. Those are part of our mandate from the Beloved. Speak prophetically, harshly at times, yes. But do not neglect the humanity of those to whom you speak. And here, I speak to myself.